Hey, greetings, everyone. Lieutenant Colonel Alan West, Senior Fellow at the Media Research Center. This past weekend, Angela and I had the great opportunity to go and attend a wedding of one of our dear friends here in Dallas. It was one of those traditional Jewish weddings that you really do get a chance to see into the culture and enjoy it very much so. And speaking of Israel, we've got to do something about all those rockets that Hamas is firing into Israel. This is an attack against a sovereign state by an Islamic terrorist group, and that is something that the international community should not stand for. But getting back to what happened at the wedding, of course, there are only, well, let's be very honest, two black guys there, myself and one other gentleman. And as always, it seems that somehow we ended up finding each other. Actually, he came over to me as we were in the entertainment part of the evening. But then came that really awkward question, as he knew exactly who I was. The question was, why are you a black Republican? And I just started to ask myself, after the exchange, of course, why is it that as a conservative Republican, who just happens to be black, that we always are challenged or called upon to defend our position, to somehow explain why we have these political philosophies, beliefs, and ideologies, these principles and values? See, when I think about the Democrat Party, which is the discussion that we kind of had, let's look at really their history with the black community. It's a history that started off with slavery. It's a history that has been filled with segregation, uh, Jim Crow, poll taxes, literacy tests, lynchings, the first domestic terrorist group, the Ku Klux Klan. Even till today, we see that one of the holdovers, a organization started by a white supremacist, a racist, a woman that spoke at Klan rallies by the name of Margaret Sanger, organizations called Planned Parenthood. Margaret Sanger referred to blacks as undesirables and weeds, but yet, if you talk to any person in the Democrat Party, that's a no-go to even try to attempt to do something against. So when I look at this question that is always posed to us, why do black conservative Republicans have to explain themselves? See, I think that those who follow the mantra of the Democrat Party should be the ones doing the explaining. Of course, the gentleman that I had the conversation with talked about the Civil Rights Act and how the Republicans are against civil rights and they're against voting rights for minorities. And I had to kind of scratch my head and say, sir, do you remember that it was Senator Edward Dirksen? He was the head of the Senate Republicans at the time that enabled the Civil Rights Act of 1964 to pass because Al Gore Sr. and Robert Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard Byrd, the senator from West Virginia, they did not want the Civil Rights Act to pass. And really, Lyndon Johnson had a very ulterior motive to passing the Civil Rights Act. And of course, then subsequently, the Great Society programs that he did, because he really wanted to have the black electoral vote. And so when you think about some of the policies of Johnson and that Great Society, remember the traditional nuclear two-parent household in the black community? When I was born, it was between 75 and 77 percent. Today, well, that's down to 24 percent. Johnson said that a woman who has a child out of wedlock, no matter how many children she has out of wedlock, the government will provide her a check. But there was a caveat. She couldn't have a man in the home. And look what has happened to our inner city communities. See, we don't need to explain constitutional conservatism, classical liberalism whatsoever. It speaks for itself. But the people that want to run around and claim that well, we need slave reparations and that we need universal basic income. They're the ones that need to explain themselves. We need to challenge people like Bernie Sanders and Kamala Harris and Cory Booker and, well, those cast of characters in that clown car running for the presidential nomination on the Democrat side. You guys need to defend what you believe in, not us. Because we can just look to the south of us right now, and once again, history is showing us an example of the failure of progressive socialist policies, the exact same policies that has destroyed the black community. Everyone always talks about how Donald Trump is such a racist, and of course, the question came up, why do you support Donald Trump? Well, I had to remind the gentleman that as a retired career military officer, 22 years, I took a note to support and defend the Constitution not a person, not a political party. But my principles and values definitely align thereof with this party. But you know, an interesting thing that a lot of people don't know 
since I do live here now in the state of Texas, call it at home. The Republican Party of Texas was founded July the 4th of 1867. It's founded by 150 blacks. Okay, there were 20 whites there also, but it was founded by blacks. Blacks who understood why the Republican Party was established in the first place in 1854. One single reason, so that people like me could be free. But now it's not just about that individual freedom, the, the breaking of the shackles of slavery. It's about economic individual freedom, economic empowerment. I kind of like that. You should too. You should like the fact that our unemployment is at record lows. Our economy is doing very well. Our gross domestic product is soaring. It feels good to be in that position. You have to ask yourself, why is it that the first black president, Barack Hussein Obama, he would cancel the DC school voucher program in April 2009? A Democrat president, a black guy, told deserving young black children they could not get a quality education, even though they had earned it that they had to go to the failing inner city schools that, well, the teachers unions, highly supported by the Democrat Party, forced them to go into. But yet, Barack Obama's daughters went to the prestigious Sidwell Friends. See, I don't have to explain why I'm a black conservative Republican. All I have to do is go back and read the autobiography of my mentor, my philosophical role model, Booker T. Washington, up from slavery. And that is where I gain inspiration. That is where I see drive, desire, and will. But when I look at the Democrat Party, I see everything that has been detrimental to the black community. Jason Riley of the Wall Street Journal editorial board wrote a book. And I think it's very appropriate. He said, please stop helping us. When I hear how the Democrats always want to help us, all they're doing is pushing us down. And there comes a time when we stop explaining why we don't want to be pushed down and understanding why they want to continue to push us down.